He's fought, he's been 30 minutes late. It's fucking right, mate. 30 minutes late, Mick? 56 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The season launch episode. This is exciting. Mick Barlow, Tommy the Train No Brain Sheridan <laughs> and Tony Armstrong. It's exciting, boys. Welcome back. 2021. It's good to see some great people. I'll start with you, Tony. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. I didn't know how to start with you. I'll just kind of come I'll start up to with you. I'll start. How good's this bloke beer? Oh, oh, mate. <laughs> hey, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers. cheers. That is the best well lager I've Train. had in a long time. <laughs> It's funny to say it's that, the best. Train. What you say Lager. about Train? It's, it's a beautiful plug. It's funny to say that, Train, because this is the new official sponsor of the Dylan Friends podcast. <laughs> the new official beer sponsor of the Dylan Friends podcast, mm. which is Bloke in a Bar Lager. They've actually got their own podcast too. Denon Kemp is a great man from Queensland slash okay. Sydney. Okay. Why is Bloke sponsoring a little boy? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Tom. Not bad, Tom. Not bad, Tom. But in saying that, if hey, you do want to check out- we yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you do want to check out some Bloke- <laughs> <laughs> if you do want to check out some blow, there's nothing better than getting a uh, six pack and splitting with five mates. So thank you to Bloke Largo, and um, I'm sure we'll be tipping back a few of them tonight. They are very good discussing. Actually. Trainer, what's been news? How have you been, my friend? You're in the white Thought suit, looking that. good. Yeah, yeah. Big week, um, big week. Just come off the Sheridan Masters. So, How'd you go? Um, yeah, tied, and then playoff hole, and then choked. Um, Choke but artist was was best on the night before Friday night. And I've got a story for you, boys. I'm down at Namurka Golf Club. Up. Shout out. Up. 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 Oh, no. Big shout out to the Namurka Golf Club. And uh, we all stayed down there, the Sheridan clan, and it's about 50 lads. And there's a tradition there every Friday. They have a deck of cards on a wall, upside down, obviously. So you can only. pack. That's a joker. Joker in the Yeah, room. right? Mm -hmm. And every week they do a draw at 8 o'clock. And you only get the card and put your name on in this big barrel if you buy a jug. So the Sheridan clan bought about 80 jugs and I wrote my name on every single one of them, right? And this thing's been going on for about 15 weeks. It's 15 cards. So the pot had about 850 in it. It's a beautiful little pot. And I'm going, I wouldn't want to go at this. And this is how it went, right? So there's, you're talking, there's a wall of cards, 15 over out of 52. Move, move through. We've and then, um, hang on, Mick, this is an all time. <laughs> have they go with this bloke? Oh, my so keep oh. going, son. We're yeah, just about to, nah, we'll tell it later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so. I've gone up. They've called me name out of the barrel, right? It says Tom Sheridan. I've got a cousin called Tom. There he goes. It's mine. I said, it's mine, mate. <laughs> so we've done the rock off. I've beaten him. I've gone up there. They go, what number? Do, which one do you want? I said, I want the 29th one. They say, you sure? The bloke turns around. He looks at me. He goes... It's gonna be a good night for the Sharons. It's a joker. <laughs> what, does that mean? what does that mean? I won the money, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Eight fifty in the skyrocket. Yeah. You had to let us know that the <laughs> joker was actually gonna. <laughs> you buried the lead, didn't mate. You need to work on your storytelling, bro. <laughs> he rattled me. I'm halfway there. <laughs> He goes, wrap it up. What are you, what are you going to um, oh, spend anyway, your 850? Straight what are you gonna... back over the bar. The Murga Golf Club. Oh, so spent the 850. Back over the bar. We're there for you're the off. weekend. Yeah, yeah. Went, um, went in a couple of hours. But... Show's nearly done, but quickly, Mick. <laughs> Mate, going well. What have you been up to? All good. Uh, didn't, Cockroach. Uh, didn't, didn't go to New America on the yeah. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was in Tokemall on the weekend. Oh, not, but not too far. Not too far. I didn't know Tom was there. Um, in in New York, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called me, I didn't. Yeah, 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 Might yeah. not have gone. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> went to Tokemall. It was good. Uh, caught up with some mates yet haven't seen for a while, and it's always good to see those mm -hmm. guys because then you don't have to see them again for a while. Friendships and um, they're the best ships, aren't they? They are. Ta. No, not much. Good to see. Good to see Mick. Good to be doing some stuff with Mick. We boarded together. Yeah, you guys. We might get to the bottom of this yeah, later. No, we will. I've actually got a, a an axe to grind out. with Mick. Yeah, so, yeah. Took no, him in. No, we well, couldn't. You know, I mean, we wouldn't imagine sure. this. Wouldn't sure. imagine um, this. Thanks for asking for me, but I just got back from Sydney. Actually, just flew straight in, straight here. But we are here for one reason. Mm -hmm. The AFL's back, boys. And AFL we all love footy. AFL we men's. love footy. And I, I speak for myself here, and I hope I'm speaking for you, boys. But I have found a new love for football since I've left it. I don't think I really liked it when I was playing it. It's a lot easier, isn't it? But it's so much easier to watch and abuse people from a screen. Mm. And I know that now. And you could do. Everything a lot better than they do it now. A hundred percent. Not that I did, but I could if I wanted to. I've, ne I've never made a mistake on this side of the fence. No. Made heaps out there. Yes. Heaps. And we will be letting them know today. So it's, um, as we said, the Dylan Friends AFL season launch show with my footy friends, with my footy best friends. And we're here. Um, 
Thanks going to through. Bloke in the bar. Thanks Thank to you. Bloke in the bar. Now, actually, just just before we go any Please further, do. how good's the AFLW been before we look at the AFL men's? Mick. It's gone through the fucking roof. TA. You, and they said today the best game, AFLW game that's had was AFL um, Carlton versus Fremantle today. The best game of AFLW, they reckon. I only caught, I only caught bits and pieces of it, but I think – this season's been such a such an advertisement for getting them full time. Put the money into it because we're seeing them take leaps and bounds each 100%. and every year. It's unreal. 100%. Taylor Harris, fifty five tonight, kicked a nice sausage roll. Post tight, Tom. One last question on that, just to sum up the season. What does it need to get to to become a full year? Like, what are we looking at now? Because obviously they've shown that the skill's gone up. There's more teams in the comp. What's the last thing that needs to happen for it to actually be full time? Just like anything, show us the money. Money? You just got to put the money into it, and we're seeing that they that um, each and every year they're getting return on investment. Yeah. As so, like this year's the first year that the tickets were um, priced, priced, and they and still they're sold out. still yeah. still still selling out. So like the appetite's there. Fucking give them a full season, let them be full time because we're seeing some of the girls have to completely change their change their job routine. Yeah. Like the change of the games thirty six hours out. I mean, it's a fucking nightmare being – I mean, I, I can imagine – Gold Coast went to Perth for two weeks. Yep. I think. So, all, and all that kind of yeah, stuff. It, a lot of them would have had – Jobs that they had to just say sorry. Yep. Yeah. And especially with, it, you know, going into the VFL season as well, it's, they could probably just merge that in. Look, I don't work in logistics, but if I did – well, why have you got a fucking logistics question for us later on? Yeah, I will. I will. Um, but no, you're right, mate, and it's a great point, and hopefully that um, we can see some more movements coming forward in that in the very near future. What do you think of the run sheet, Tom? Yeah, it's very well prepared. Yep. Well done, Sammy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Dill would have had nothing to do with this. No, I didn't have much. To I do noticed that. it said Dill and Sam produced the show. So, <laughs> geez, Dill's doing well, isn't he? <laughs> now. Mick, I'm going this one to you. We are going Done. through the AFL season today. We're doing – because this is going to be something where we look back at the end of the season and we go, wow. We were wrong. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> Mick, your question um, for you go for it. is left field best and fairest for 2021. Okay, dogs. How good are the dogs going to be? They're midfield. Well, they got Trelaw. They got Dunkley. Trelaw. Dunkley. Dunkley. Uh, McRae goes pretty good. Uh, Caleb oh, Daniel the, off the back. Bont. Got him. He's yeah. Lockie. <laughs> Lockie Hunter. Lockie Hunter goes well. Caleb uh, Daniel. Lipinski. So Billy, Caleb Billy Daniel Gowers. Again. No. No. Southport. He's oh, that's, um, that's cutting hair. Sorry, Bill. Cutting hair. G'day, Bill. So Stefan Martin will win the Bulldogs best and fairest. Just putting it down their throats. Yep. So he, he is the – what is it, Tom, when you're missing something out of the full deck of cards? The Joker. <laughs> 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 He's a joker. That's good. On, hey, that Steph, was good. Stephen Martin is the joker on the wall of the New America Golf Club. Yes. That they have now. Yeah. And the Tommy won 850 out. bucks. Uh, they've pulled it out. Tim English, varying le- levels of success last year. Yeah. Doggy's a good side. Steph Martin goes over there. And tell you what, if you want a rig in the AFL. Mm, yeah. No, do I ever. Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your belly. No, no, no. no. Ste- Steph. No, no, no. All of our bellies are staying well and truly yeah, up. Yeah. Stephen <laughs> Martin. He's got it all. Mm. Hairline, physique, mm. and so he, the ability. 34 years old, he'll win the doggies. Is he fit I'd at the moment, though? Is he fit? Is he, is he playing at the moment? Or is he injured? Yeah, he is. He's, he's playing. He's playing. Yeah, he played in the practice for match? Doing your research, mate. Did he? Yeah. So did. he played in the practice yeah, match? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I, think. I thought that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, just on that. Hey, that was convincing because I, I, I – what, what does that mean for Timmy English? Because I thought, I thought he played some really good footy last uh, year. It, it comes with being quite young and a big bloody beanstalk. They take a while to, to – He's filled out a bit though. He, he, they take a while to um, fill out and adapt to the, to the style. So whether he's in their best side or whether they put him as the bear in the square – He'll be in, in their side for long Physical periods of the coach year. Speak, isn't but it? is he? He's already yeah. managing him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I caught that a bit, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. English oh, two not years not might be out of the yeah. system down at down at Werribee, <laughs> rucking for me. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, um, Tim English, 50-50 to be in the best side. Anyone else got a Ruffy BNF winner? Ollie Florent, Sydney. You love Ollie Florent. I, I do. Too. Number thirteen he's on the wing, very gorgeous, handsome. and he's handsome as. Um, Good looking side, Sydney. Yeah, I mean, Aesthetic. I mean, they're like aesthetically really, really pleasing, like. Physically, they're they're stunning. Harbour Josh City. Kennedy, he leads from the front. In that Josh Kennedy Kendrick. leads Luke from Parker. The, Luke Kieran Luke. Jack was Kieran. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Kiss has got a blockhead. Um, <laughs> uh, nah, but Ollie, Ollie, mm. Ollie Florent, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna take it to the next level this year. Tyne Wall, I don't think Tommy has one. But <laughs> Tony Wall, you're um, no one talking. cares about BNF. They've rigged me. Yeah. They're rigged. Bonuses for top. bonuses for the boys. Yeah, right. well, oh, finish bonus. Nice. I'll talk about yeah, bonuses. Bonus top eight. Yeah, bonus. Oh, you Next come, year, eh? Yeah. Bonus That's top why six. I never got any bonuses. Yeah. 
Being F for me, I mean, not that I was ever up there, but I've seen a lot of blokes. You finished tenth on you? Yeah, I did finish tenth. Little bonus, bang. <laughs> 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 850 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> it, his mum, <laughs> uh, Jenny Sheridan, his mum, has the snippet, the, the cut out of the West Australian paper when Tom came 10th. Tom 10th. And it, in, in a best of fairs, when the side finished. Be, yeah. Yeah. The I was going to bring it in, it's on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the, the side finished 16th out of 18th, and Tom's got yeah, on the, that, no, on the you, wall there. Mate, riddles. hold yourself in, in high seat for that. So that is a very impressive feat. TA, a mm. surprise top eight entry. Yeah. Yeah, Sydney. Yeah. Swans will make it. Yeah, all, off the back of an Ollie Florent, all Australian, all Australian best and fairest year. See, a, I'm seeing a reaction. Swans, will, Swans will make it. Buddy, Buddy will kick a thousand. This will kick, kick, kick his thousandth this year too. Once he gets back on the path. So how many does he have to kick to get there? Don't ask me questions. Don't, I don't know the answers yeah. to. Well, hopefully, someone's but listening. That he hasn't been playing. Tom, Buddy it, Franklin it's, injured. It's, injured. it's, it's that, less yeah. than hundred. It's around sixty. That'd be good. Mm. Um, I'm going to go over to me now. I was Brody picking yourself. the <laughs> flag for this year. Now, Circling back to me. I haven't given the flag choice, but I've given who I think is going to be the grand final. That's pathetic, mate. Put yourself on the line. Okay, I will. I agree. Well, yeah. I'm going to set it up first. So in the flag at the end of the year is going to be West Coast. Yep, like that. I love West Coast. I've got something about them, something about Luke Shuey oh, just Coast. bouncing there through the midfield. I just absolutely love it. And I think they are a very handsome team as well for some reason. The, the, the opposing team that will make it will be Brisbane, I think. Wow, so shocking. Is that a big call? That's or not? A, no? I've got them both top four. Joe Danaher, our friend, yeah, is I mean, now. I love like Joe, but I mean, far out. You you haven't really like blown blown the mm. blown the doors open. What do you want me to say? Carlton are going to win the flag? Yep. Well, it would have been something. <laughs> something with a little bit of atmosphere. So winning? <laughs> West Coast or Brisbane? West Coast will win it. Twenty twenty one. Have you forgotten about the cats? I know. Yeah, I'm, 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 I haven't just about let the cat out the bag. But <laughs> I, I reckon cats win it by a mile. Really? They got they're ready to go. Higgins, Smith, Cameron, stay fit. There's four. Danger good. was on one leg last year. Oh, I've got the cat. It's their year. You reckon? Yeah. Longer quarters. Nice game plan. They're always. Well, it's good news. It's uh, it's an open competition. I've got Port Adelaide. Yeah, so, top oh, four. I like mm. that. I do like that call. Mm. That's my top so, four, by the way. I'm not going to ask because I'm Sydney. 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 <laughs> okay. The Swans, no, we're coming good. We're coming good. We'll bounce. Big Port, bounce here this Port year. Port Adelaide's actually an interesting one, Mick. They were fantastic last year. Within a kick of going to a grand final, Richmond beat what they, what they win the grand final by five goals. Mm. So Port Adelaide take them right up. There's always one of those prelim finals, which is an absolute and you never belt yeah. up. And that was it. The yeah. other one, Brisbane were okay, but... Long does um, does one. Ken Hinckley weird anyone out as much as me? Like, well, yeah, he, he, he really like feels like, like, like and him. he gives this Same. one like, in the box and stuff as well. I reckon Ken's good. I'm big on Ken. Is this that game where you follow the last one? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, Have a bloke, mate. I will. Um, yeah, I love Ken Hinckley, but he just is a little bit weird sometimes. But that's fine. We, we love to celebrate things that we're um, big out. Now, Mick, I know you're going to take this segment. This is a line meeting. All right, boys, step in. So we all, we, had meetings. Yeah. we all had meetings um, in team meetings, which were fantastic. We all love them. But then even worse, after a long hour meeting and team meeting, is nothing worse when the coach says, hey, boys, we're going to go into line meetings now too. Mm. So you broke off into your lines. You broke off. And, you broke and off. the coach would say, okay, mid's in here. Mid's in here. Always. Yeah, mid's ba- always stay. <laughs> Backs are in the um, players' lounge and forwards scatter. Yeah, yeah wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Connect, leading patterns, block, you know, forwards get out. Um, okay, we'll take a line meeting. Okay. So, whew, what have we got? What have we got? I've missed that. Here we are. Tommy, mm-hmm. now we're going to start. Def- hey, defence wins premierships, yes? Correct. Can you give me your best and worst back six in the competition? Is that what we're going with? Jeez. Yeah. Well, you want to. It's on page one. Yeah, of the no, rundown, Tom. Yeah, well, give me some time, Mick. But I think you need a mature back six that's you played do. together. You're going to go with best an, or worst? And an organised back six. So a good Ge- game plan. Exactly. So Geelong. Fair. <laughs> back six, get the <laughs> they, they lost. Who did they lose this year? Harry Taylor. Yep. <clears throat> Hendo's really. Uh, Lockie Henderson's come a long way. He's playing some very good footy at the moment. I um, retired him this time last year. <laughs> you did? Henderson. That was clever. Yeah, and he's come good. out of the woodwork. Kiss of death, mate. Yeah. Um, I know you actually have an opinion on this, so let's get to you because you are the coach. Oh, yeah, so I'll go to the mids. Well, the, the worst yeah. back six is going to be the bottom team, so it's going to be Adelaide. Sorry, Nixie, I love you. <laughs> Adelaide are coming last, therefore they're going to have the most points scored against them. 
I'm just answering the question. Still love all that ba- back six at Adelaide. Yeah. They're <laughs> nothing the personal to the back six yeah. at Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> <but we laughs> <did>. <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> personal. I think they lost Hardigan as well. They're going to be disorganised. Can we get communication is not going to Game plan was another thing we talked about. Are you questioning Nixie's game plan? No, no, they're just personnel. <laughs> and hey, let's ramp up some positivity. Ramp up some positivity. Who's the best back six? You're Geelong. Geelong. I think Geelong will win it, therefore they'll have the most organised back six. And it won't be coming in. <laughs> Easy, eh? It'll be coming out beautifully for the guts. Yeah. Harry Taylor, have a good year. Andrew Mackey. They're not playing, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Research. Just Joel Corey. Hey, Joel Corey. Yeah. 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 Corey Enright. Big Mick, you got the mids. Who I have you, got the mids. Who are you thinking? Best. Best of Spoke about them before. Doggies. Oh, it's stacked it's in there. deep. They're stacked. Do they have too many, though? Probably. You know, well, one will get shuffled to the six, Death Valley. Oh, yeah. oh. five, six. Eight. Just five, take a six. moment. No, take thanks. a moment, I reckon, for Josh Dunkley, out. who's going to play fifth and sixth, Death Valley for the year. Tip, tip on out for Josh. No, no, no jo- I think he'll play inside. To Josh. I'm not tipping it. I reckon <laughs> he'll play inside. He's a very good mid. He's a good mid, but we're so like, like, who's he ahead of? Well, you can spin him. Spin your mids. Who's, the, who's, who's pushing him out? Trelaw. Trelaw, McRae. Montempelli. Montempelli. And then there's one more because there's one on the bench. Caleb Daniel. Lipinski. He's playing half back. Yeah. Libba. Libba in a run Libba's with. pretty good as well. Plays. Libba is actually. Mate, Libba's, uh, Libba's a really good in, extractor. In all seriousness, Libba was the one that went forward a bit last year. Mm, yeah. So you're right. Tom. I reckon he'll stay in there. So Josh Duncan. Can't forget so Bailey Smith So, so well. Libba will probably hit up off the back Bailey of the contest. Smith as well. pressure, anyway, pressure, all pressure. the names we've just mentioned, Tone. Mm. Best midfield <laughs> in the league are the doggies. TA, if you mm. can't say. Okay, so if I can't say Sydney. Yeah. Best forward line, worst forward line. Uh, I love I love West Coasts. Um, what do you love about it? Uh, so I think um, Oscar Allen's going to have a huge, a huge, huge year love him. up mm-hmm. forward. I think he's going to take the number one reign. Uh, number one reign. I think he'll he'll take the mantelpiece as you uh, he's, and blonde. Like he's, you've got a bit of a theme today. Aesthetically pleasing players, mate. I just appreciate the human body in its finest form. Um, but yeah, no, I love them. I love I love how diverse they are as well. Like you, you got guys like yeah, yeah, um, mm. Liam Liam Ryan who can jump. They've got so much. To, um, they've got so much ability to play tall, small. Um, Cripps is a gun. Willie Rioli back in back halfway through When's the year. Back August. I think yeah. Back. So that has he, been a fucking so weird situation of all time. He can, he can time, start though. training with them, I think, in June, and then can play in August. And how like perfect timing oh, coming in coming in the finals. Yeah, I mean. The what's plan. the what's the rule? You have a Rioli, you win a flag, mm. bring him back in, flag. Mm. It's um, pretty unbelievable to think that he's going to be coming back after nearly two years. Two years, two years yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I really, really like their forward line. Um, and I think some of the service that, that they'll be getting will be first class as well. So, yeah, hard to, hard to yeah. pick a better forward line. I feel that. so w- much better at w- my w- West Coast. W- worst forward line. Oh, yeah, you, could throw, you could throw a blanket, blanket over a, a number. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, look, I just – I don't want to point anyone but out, but just <laughs> but you just got to understand that you know there's a couple of clubs that need to lift their game. There is definitely just yeah. on the two years you've been out of the game for almost two years. Can you imagine you you know yourself coming back right now? Um, Even the mentality, personally, no. But I uh, Willie Roll is a little bit. Oh, he's a star. bit better than me. Yeah, no, no star. No, yeah. I think that's the question true. you were asking though is around like the mentality. Yeah, yeah mentality. mentality. I'm talking about like training. He's I mean, what kind of ever tra- given up? Yeah, no way, man. He'd have yeah. to have a six month preseason, wouldn't you? Get the rig right. Well, he's for back. sure. For for sure, Dev set him up like, and I don't know this, but if you're if you've got anything to do with the coaching staff there, you're going. Let's get him surrounded oh. by personal trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a nutritionist up there because he is such a gun. And mm. we were seeing the way he was playing just before he was um, just before he uh, had 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 the incident, like. 20, 21 touches, a goal, like three, yeah, four he's assists, he's tackle pressure, mm. and the vision as well, like changing the angles. He sells candy Coaches love anyone. that stuff, don't they? Mick? They do. They love the pressure. He actually plays that Death Valley role well. So hats off. Because he pushes him. right up early. and ends up as a fifth mid sometimes. He does. And nah, good nah, luck to him. Be good to he'll see. be good. So good to see him back, hopefully, back end of the year. Who will he push out of that West Coast forward line? <laughs> Someone. Uh, Cameron? That young Cameron? I don't Charlie think, brother no, off. Cameron didn't play too much in the finals, I don't think. No. But do you think and in terms of back lines though as well, I like well, their back line. I like West yeah. Coast back line as well. Thinking that off like McGovern's always sorry? Can't like them all. No, I literally do. can. <laughs> I, I do. That's, that's, that's what I think that's what he's saying, is he does just <laughs> yeah, like them all. Yeah. Um, this is one of my favorite segments uh, of the day because yeah. I've always been really passionate about picking a sleeper. Yeah. And I have a I have someone that I get on early. And I just ride them. Were you ever? Were you, were you ever anyone's sleeper? No, no, <laughs> neither. No. And if I was, you would have been running Mick. up to it. Mum and dad's. Yeah. 
Yeah. You've got to all kind of yeah. rule there. But I had last year I had Tom Green. Now that wasn't a – it's not a massive call because he was a high pick, good player. From all reports, this year Better is again. set for – like the, the similarities to a Patrick Cripps is uncanny. So if there's some giant supporters listening, which I know there's millions of them, they would be very excited about this young man. He's not my sleeper this year because he was my sleeper last yep. year. Yep. Um, Matt Real, sleeper? <laughs> he's not sleeping. He's wide awake. <laughs> Who's uh, keen to kick this one off? Who's your sleeper for 2021? Hey, uh, sorry, Tom. You go. I'm going. Well, I know who he is because you said his first name. I'm going with Matty Tabernar. There's, Ooh, there's, Tabernar. That's it. He <laughs> is the man. If he kicks 40 goals, they'll play finals. I've seen he's I think you can check the stats on this because I know it. He's the contested Mark King and he's had a couple of injuries at the end of the year, but he is the key. We're good mates with him, but he's a star. And he if he can kick straight, which is he knows he's working on it. Mm. And if he can stay out of fights with his teammates, he is at training. A absolute mm. smoky. He's a smoky for the Coleman. All Australian. He plays deep. All Australian? You're hundred percent. He was in the was he in the squad last year? Was. If, that, yeah. if he kicks, if, he, if they make the finals, he's, he's got to be around the mark. So he's my sleeper. I love supporting him, yep. and I love watching him because he's always one on one. He's a big and he boy too. Never loses many one on ones. It's when he's got two on him. And he plays, he, a, and he plays a bit angry, doesn't he? Plays. He's, a, he's just great to watch. Yeah. He does some outrageous shit. He's got some he shoulders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's box office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He puts bums on seats. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's one goal six or it's seven goals straight on the left. Yeah, or he's right, working so. on that ball drop. Which he's is beast. Yeah, he's unique, and he does some outrageous stuff outside fifty and some good stuff. I just love watching him. Love He's my sleeper. It's a great one. Fremantle at home. He'll kick a couple. Bags. I love that. Mm. That's good. Hayden Young. I don't get talked enough. Oh, another free man. Yep. Free yeah. Man. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. I, I like. I like <laughs> Hayden. Hayden. Mm. So Hayden Young's mine. Yeah. Do you want to give a bit of a rundown, Hayden Young, just in case some people uh, like, we all we know Hayden Young. Just in case hair, yep. Half back. He's the one that's no, famous for that left foot kick into the corridor in that Vic under uh, Vic Country Championships. He's just yep. ripped one straight in the corridor. New rule. 30 metre, you know, uh, set shots and that yep. for kick ins. Yeah. So Hayden Young will have a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Good beer. So he'll, have, he'll take the kick ins. Yeah. So he'll have a lot of possession. And you can get drawn into possession. Was so, he injured last year? Yeah, did he syndesmosis? So he's eligible for Rising Star, third or fourth favourite, I think. He's, um, again, with Matt Real in contention for that. So looks like one, one, uh, one man show. But Hayden Young. Starved of opportunity last year for injury. He's my sleeper for season 2021. Dylan, yours? I've got a couple. Okay. Oh, oh, I was always on the fence. Pick oh, one. I've got to pick six. Oh. Now, mine for this oh. year, I don't actually have a connection to this young man. I think you might, Mick. And he's not really asleep because he did have a good year last year, but I think he's going to take his game to the next level even more. He's a young man from the Jarvis Giants, Jay Riccardi. Ooh, He's going to be the nice. number one key forward at the Giants. Well, that's that might be the issue though, Dill. He came He's in taking the, the best yeah, defender came, now. Jeremy Cameron there last year. He's third or fourth in line. Bob's up, gets out the back a little bit. Yes. Very nice player. Yeah. Again, I've been a bit critical tonight. You are. No, <laughs> no, no, you're, you're right. right. So I, I, I he, there's a lot more responsibility on Jake this year. Um, I worry for the GWS forwards. Line, no Cameron this year. A lot of, um, a lot of, I suppose uh, pressure now moves on to more so Toby Green yep. in that front half and Jake Riccardi, so he'll get the number one, number two back. Um, so it'll be, yeah, We're big, big moment for him. Harry Himmelberg will be attracting some, some, yeah, it's yeah, true. So one or two, yeah. But, you're, it, but the thing with Jake is he doesn't miss, mm. so he only needs half the opportunities most key forwards because he does true. not miss. A bit like Jack Gunson. Um, and my other one as well. This bloke's not sleeping. He's been wide awake. Zach Butters. I think oh, this bloke can so do good. some serious things this year. I know it, it. I can't call him a sleeper, but it's he's like a he's a he's early there. riser. So, so do you think he's going to ascend? Do you yeah, he's going to he's going to go saying he's going to go next saying, level. Maybe. Next level. And he's he's got a better rundown resume at the moment than his counterparts Dersma and um, in, Rosie. Rosie. Yeah, but Rosie and Dersma walk in the room. You're like, oh, that's kind of Rosie. Yeah, like, Zach Butters could. Dead set pop up out of your wheat bix oh, and be like, yeah, yeah. How is wheat bix plug? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see. Wheat bix plug. plug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you do? I did eight. Oh shit, butters. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, kudos to Zach. Uh, Ta, who's your sleeper? Who's your riser? Uh, no shit, my sleeper is Ollie Florent. Um, he's played seventy games now. Um, and I don't reckon he gets spoken about enough in that He's elite uh, that wing role. Yeah, as one of those premier uh, wingmen, I think I think he's he's about to take that next step. I think the Swans uh, gen genuinely. I know I've taken the piss a bit. Yep. Swans will bounce this year, um, and I think he'll be a big big 
uh, reason behind that. So go, it's go time for those Sydney crew that have been around a while now, hasn't it? You, they've Haywood, probably been given a lot yeah, more games. Yeah, than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haywood, Blakey, Blakey's a star. Oh, yeah. um, Mills, uh, the Zucchini. He's going midfield. Huh? Uh, Mills is going in Will midfield. Haywood. Yeah, he's yeah, Haywood. Yeah, Haywood, he's a handsome boy. Um, Dawson off halfback. Yeah. Um, and Florent as well, oh, I love. Yeah. yeah. If oh, it, McEnany, well, McEnany, is that one? Can I just ask one? you one thing? With this, you've all gone yeah. quite young, right? I've gone a mature. Yeah. Mm. If we're going young, can I just drop one more name? Because this bloke plays exactly like Ollie, and it's Jai Caldwell at yeah. Essendon. Yes. Didn't get any opportunity, didn't get any game time for obvious reasons because there's some stars playing in front of him. But Ollie's very similar. Silky and wins his own ball. Mm. Jai's the same. And he's a bit younger. So look out for him. Yeah, it's like it's like – Ability to win inside, but then they've got the wheels to go from inside the contest and they go, boom, and then they're out and they're yeah. gone. Coaches love that stuff, don't they, Mick? They do. I'm just trying to find out that Sydney player I'm thinking Black. of. Yeah. One more sleeper. <laughs> I just thought of oh, it. Hey, it. Had him on the show last week. In, in the Paddy rundown. McCartan. This bloke's going to get picked up in the mid-season draft. He'll come in and play for the Swans. So I know that you love the Swans. I just I thought do. that's, I that's love a Paddy. goal. So too. when you yeah. get this rundown, Tom, you just reread it for the first time. But yeah. um, everyone picks one player. Mm. Yeah. So many. Yeah. I, got, I got excited. I got two. Yeah. Oh, I got excited. Oh. The Main Street Sorry. Lager. Sorry. Um, <laughs> good lager. <laughs> Is that good lager? <laughs> now, we've been just really dice. There's a lot of Jared and, Jared and Robbo about Where, us at the moment. My, That's very, mine. Very serious. serious. That's mine. A lot of Jared and Robbo about beer, us. Beer, mate. Loosen up. <laughs> it's now time just to have a bit of a footy chat. Bloke in a bar, we're having a chat just about footy. Who's our favourite game? What game are you looking forward to most this year? The game with the venom. What are you looking forward to the most? I'll kick it off. New VFL competition. Yeah. Suns and Giants. In your poon. It's going to be big. <laughs> Tom, you? Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> fuck, still going. I, I, just like, I just like a rivalry game. And it's are hard you thinking because, what I'm thinking? Yeah, I think we are. If you're thinking the Bulldogs, foot's great, yeah, yeah. Bulldogs, Giants. And I think it's going to be really even this year. <clears> so it's <throat> the first time we might see a contest. Tommy, between you and I, not that we – did you play against yeah. them ever? Uh, no. No, emergency. neither. Yeah. Cooper Twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Emergency yeah. both, okay? But I'm telling you. Yeah, it's We angry. sat in those meetings. The Giants and the Bulldogs genuinely hate each other. It is the biggest rivalry in footy. They actually despise each other. Genuinely. Yeah, and it's the biggest one we know because we're inside the four walls. And But um, I've been at Carlton. I've been to these ones where it's like Carlton, Collingwood, Carlton. Yeah. Like they're so – it's history. Don't get me wrong. There's so much history there. The, fan, the fans the hate fans those ones hate. more than the players. Exactly. Yeah. The like fans yeah. do. Inside the four walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, there's well, this one's – I reckon it's going to be – I felt like the Giants have had better the personnel. Yeah. I reckon they're evenly matched this year. Which I reckon means, dogs are better. Well, they're going to be – I got them 50-50. Yeah. Without Cameron. So I think the rivalry is even more because yeah, it's you're going to have a contest and there's some, there might be one moment mm-hmm. where you might need to go back old school. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. But that's the one game I'm looking forward to. Lose it in the sun, mate. Turn around and crumb. Yep. Yeah. Number one rule. Check yeah. your man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check your man. Yeah, where is he? Uh, oh, I better crumb now. <laughs> <laughs> now can I double back? Collingwood Western Bulldogs would be very, uh, a very oh. must-watch. Game two of the year with Trelaw. He's injured though. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He's not playing. No, he's, he'll, he'll get himself up. You reckon? Get himself up. He's played oh, a fair foul we want him fit. match. We do want him fit. Do you reckon, do you reckon there'll plays. be a bit of venom in, uh, in uh, Lions Dons with Joe? Joe. Oh, that's a good one. Where, if do it's you a, reckon? If it's, down here, if, it's, if it's down here. We want it in Melbourne. Yeah, and Dons. I think Joel crowd. I think crowd would be more angry. I think it will be. Where's the Tomlin discussion coming up? Yeah, can we can we talk about how Joe's going to fucking kick 60 this year? Dominate. He's going to absolutely beast it, mate. Is it him or is Hipwood going to beast it? Because Joey takes the big guy. I, I think Joey's been taking the big guy forever, anyway. Yeah, and now he's and now he's got and he's <laughs> genuinely fit and healthy yeah, and yeah, like um, Harris amazing. Harris Andrews. Um, I think he kicked like four or five, five on him in a half or something like in that. In a cracky and, forty uh, minutes, and uh, and uh, Harris was like, oh "My God, oh, yeah. he's the best back yeah, in the and top. He, he's, he's the best key 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 defender, and he absolutely smoked Smacked him." him. So yeah, I when think you want you want to play your best footy in those scratch matches, so that's what I've done. It, I think he's ready to go. Scratch matches and just yeah, it can be pretty hard playing on on your mates because they mates. know all your tricks. I love playing yeah. on my mates, what, what, especially when you've only got one. Your tricks. Well, me and Mazongo used to just run one fifties. <laughs> You're just up and down because he was so disciplined and so was I. And I was like, mate, if, if one of us is going to get a kick, Keep one needs to be just Cheating. snapping. Just yeah. ball watch for three seconds and let me have one handball. <laughs> but um, you're right; it's hard playing scratch matches. Boys, moving on to the media. I know that you're big on this, Mick, and you and TA. Sorry, you're both incredible in this area. Bruce McIvain is retired this year. He has. 
Who's who, next, Bruce? Who moves in to Good that butter. spot? Jones. Are we looking at him? Yeah, well, I think I'm looking at him. Thanks, man. Cheers. Looking at him now. No, it's it's interesting. Are you yeah. guys both going for the same job here, or no? no, no. I reckon there might be a bit of drama, Matt. I'm not. I'm not going for any judgment. No. I'm ABC through and through. Exactly. ABC. In all seriousness, public, public broadcaster. We look after you, the people. <laughs> who's our Thanks favorite? For our wages too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's our favorite yeah. to <laughs> step up into that um, commentating role? No one. No one. No one steps up into that role. Nah. It's yeah. just like a team. Yeah, it's just a team. Like no one. No one is like the next yeah. Bruce. There's a lot of hate for BT. He's the one. Yeah. He's the guy. Yeah. He's the, I like BT. BT's yeah. number one, mate. I think BT would really enjoy that element of people giving him grief and all, and all that. And I like the way he does it. He'll miss Bruce because I love the yeah. Bruce, BT. So we're doing it yeah. from Adelaide and Melbourne. There's an art to all of that. So yeah. he's, he's a very good operator. Just quickly, the thing the thing about BT is he he's this amazing kind of persona when he's on air. Oh, yeah. And like – that's just not hit. Like, get him at lawn, or get, oh. or get him at lawn down at Ang- down at down, down at the Anglers Club. I don't know him at lawn. I know. Just relax, guy. Is he? It's like he builds him. It's like he goes. I reckon this is how I could explain it. It's like the complete opposite, mm. and it's like he hasn't spoken to a human in two weeks, and he walks into that commentary box, and he just explodes, and he's so up and about. That's mate, incredible. He's my favourite. We don't know. Mate, a lot of people mate, don't know that. It is. It is so funny watching him walk through the Ron Casey room, which is the media room at the at the G. Because, like, everyone's just kind of slapping up, like, you know, g'day, mate, how you been? BT just walks through, like, quick as fuck, like 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 an Olympic race walker, like barely says g'day to anyone and just goes vroom, straight straight into the box and just gets ready. Like, n- like just not necessarily, like, the biggest kind of people person, I don't reckon, like, loves, loves the people who are really close to them mm. and is so kind and so mm. generous, but... The persona you're getting on on person on, versus persona that's on, crazy. Uh, on our telly is that's him realizing that it's an entertainment industry. Yeah, and he puts and, it on a platter, and he is so fucking good. Mm. Like his ability to make something out of nothing, <laughs> genius. Hey, I listened to his um take, you know, when Boyd kicked the goal. Oh, oh Boyd! Fuck! <laughs> 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 it's the best thing I've ever seen. But then, <laughs> but then you hear him go, "Oh, oh he struck the goal!" <laughs> 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 Well, like, well, because that's the thing, mate. Oh. When you're on air, it's just like if you if you've dropped one, just, just get just it. just just get as far away from oh. it as you can. And just <laughs> put as much voice in between you and the golden oh. as you can. What a moment to drop it! Oh, but, and, oh. But like the thing oh, is, I didn't even know so, he swore in that. Have a go. Get it on your show. show. It is the best yeah. highlight yeah. and yes. commentary. Snap it up Boyd in kicks this a, moment. Kicks the winner in a granny, and he's running out of words, and he just drops it. Because was it? Morris Morris tackles Buddy. Buddy Buddy fumbles the ball. Boyd picks it up. Three steps. Sixty. Sixty. Bang. Just over the line. Bounces back. He goes. Boyd. Boyd. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's you can watch it 20 times. <laughs> so they'll be playing right now, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 They'll be playing now. right now. Perfect. Now, um, boys, so this is taken. our flame yeah. takes, okay? I don't know what that means. But basically it means come to the table with a left of field take and everyone wants to have their say. So, Mick, oh. give us someone Wait, yeah. who's going to win the Brownlow this year. Left field? Left of field. <laughs> well, I wrote Lockie Neal. That's not really left field because yeah, you won last year. It's not left of field. That's left of field for the Brown Loss medal. Can't say Ollie Florent, can I? No. Oh, I've got him. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so not Ollie Florent, not Stefan Martin. Brownlow medalist. Let's have a look at Zach Merritt for Essendon. I reckon he's the only one in there that's going to get the votes for Essendon. Yeah, well, the, but he's the only one that's going to get the votes in the uh, Do you get in the three when you lose? Oh, I did a couple of times. But <laughs> yeah, did you win? No, I didn't actually. You should have won actually. Yeah, yeah led twice. Up. Yeah, you led him. First year, mate. First year? First year. First year, second year blues. Talk about the Prince of Paddington, the Prince of Perth. Oh, <laughs> well, let's go with Zach Merritt. Oh, yeah, I like Zach that. Merritt. I like that, Mick. And thanks for the He's thank back for the, that pretty uh, fast, hate, hate the answer. Um, Tony. Yo. Oh, fuck, I regret this already. No, 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 no. So, like, Someone um, to have a breakout year. <laughs> Besides. No, no, no. Can um, we go Brownlow as a group? Because I got Are one. you going to do Brownlow? Yeah, so like, so like breakout. I'll start that again. I'll start that again. Breakout. No, no, that's all right. Breakout year, Oscar Allen. Um, I, think, I think he's going to kick like 55, 60 goals. Um, I think he's going to boss it over there. Brownlow. Jeez, um, uh, oh, left the field. Uh, let's go McCluggage. Yeah. Good call. Um, it, I, think, I think he – because he kicks goals. He kicks – and sorry. He, 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 career he, votes. He has a lot of shots. He has a lot of shots on goal. And I reckon – I mean, geez, it's you can't really work out Lockie Neal because everyone knows what he's doing and he still does it. But 
they're going to be coming even harder again. And I reckon McCluggage, McCluggage gets a bit more outside and um, he's like so, so classy. He sort of between that 25 to 30 touch game has sort of two or three shots on goal. If he can convert them. Speaking of like depth of midfield though, the blokes he's got to compete with for votes. It's, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, Lockie's going to get more attention. Um, can he have 60 possessions in a game, Lockie? Nielsen? Yeah, he can. I've never I seen anyone like it. He had, I think he had 55. Yeah, and it was short. Once in 20 minutes. Mm. He's a freak. I, got a, I, I think all I read is here is someone to win the brown line, right? And I don't know. And it why, says no it one, next to Mick. On a second, Mick. No one talks about this bloke enough. Patrick Cripps is, I don't care what anyone says, they're winning more games. He will win the brown yeah. line. Mm. Not going left the field here. I'm going straight down the middle. It's, Tommy. Cripps will win the brown line. Did you listen to the Patrick Cripps episode on Dylan Friends? I haven't had a chance yet. Been flat out at America. Two and a half hour drive there. Enjoy but I will. Back. You know me. I'll catch up. We've got a seven what hour drive. You listen to if like you that. listen to that, you will know he will win the Brownlow this year. Well, he's, there you go. He's, he's got something in the brain this year that he's. Do you reckon? He's, he's I know he does. I think committed. he'll win it. Do you, do you reckon Dill's narcissistic enough to, on the seven hour drive, just catch up on some Dylan friends with you? Oh, there'd be no doubt he'll play the one that I interviewed him on. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon telling you, ask me like this next time. <laughs> <laughs> really it was good, going. man. It was good, man. But yeah, we got like, it. No, so, so, so like, I'd rather pull, it, yeah. pull into Macca's so and he starts, stops, keeps, man. And he starts, stops, keeps on the body. <laughs> just, <laughs> just more starts. <laughs> so it, it, stop. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, boys, one of my favourite segments is talking about young players in the AFL. Rising star this year. We touched on our breakouts, but who's your favourite young gun this year? Have you, have you made looks can at the draft? Can we take out Rao? Rao is a given, I think. Yeah, look, it's he's cancelled mm. in no, this. No, he's not a given. Jamal Yugle Hagen. I think he is. Let's have a slap. They're making headlines these, for all the other reasons. On the line, I'm not saying he's a given. So you okay. can have Rao versus the eye of the field. One slab. One slab of bloke Two slabs. Bloke you of bar the I know you're sponsored, but you're going to buy them. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. I'll have the field. Done. Commission? I've got a I'll bloke in the field. I've got a <laughs> bloke in the field. Commission of a sixer? Yeah, commission. Who, who's your so bloke? Who's your, got, got the same if bloke. you name your bloke, yeah. it's two slabs. Okay. Well, Mick, you can do it for me because I saw your run Hayden Young. This guy's got the big, yeah, the best left peg in the business. I haven't seen anything like it from a first year. Any played yeah. a handful. It was his second year. Yeah, his last year and he played a handful though. So second year, under the radar, big smoky. The guy that went to Hawthorne this year, he's going to be good. Downey. Uh, the wingman? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he looks and – he, and he's got a bit of pipage too, like, like the muscles and stuff. Yeah. He looks like a, you know, a really cool cat. I've just seen Tom when he rocked up, drafted. Oh, oh, mate, I was so ugly. I still am, but I was so ugly. <laughs> yeah, the teeth. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was Chris Judd when I rocked up. Yeah. I was that up and about and everyone's yeah. like, have a look at this bloke. Um, all right, well, that's good. TA, have you got one? Yeah, Jamari Hugo Hagen. I yeah. reckon, I reckon once, he, once he gets going. He athletically, like his body. Did you did you see the footage of him? He nearly killed someone. Yeah, the footage nearly, of him jumping on heads but then like landing on his feet and picking the ball up. Like, like the reco- I mean, He nearly missed his debut for manslaughter. <laughs> Of just literally crunching someone's head, I felt so sorry. I for that think bloke. Just... I think I think the only the only time like someone like like so the only time he doesn't take those marks is when he drops them because no one's go like no one yeah. can Get no one high. can go with him. He yeah. won't he won't play for the first four or five rounds. Doesn't over. matter. You, you don't reckon? No. Yeah. Why so? Just... They've already said it. So essentially, I don't I don't I don't think that matters. I yeah. think he'll I think he'll just his star will shine so bright. Yeah. This year though, or next year. This and year. Where have you played them in the – Man, I'm – Connor Downey <laughs> is more – Connor, Connor Downey, Downey yeah, yeah. So that was I'm a like, young young boy from – I'll put my stuff on the line. Yeah. Unlike some. That's huge. Slab a bloke. Slab a bloke? Yeah. Yeah, I like oh, it. I love the bloke. Yeah, it's, mine. It's, it's, it's a really good lager. It's actually <laughs> – Nice lager. Heard him. He's known. It's fantastic. It's it, To be honest, just about just on the lager quickly, and this mm. is not even joking. When you taste it, right, and you mm. get to the bottom, can you taste a little bit of honey? No. Or is it just me? Yes, you. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> is he okay? I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not saying this because obviously they're a big fan of the podcast. This is a good beer. Mm. Thank you. I agree. Oh, Jamaica. I can't taste the honey yet, but um, yeah, I I'll just, let you know at the bottom here. Really nice in there. But we will be. We're doing actually a giveaway of this honey. next week, so <clears> don't worry, everyone. Um, you will be able to taste this. Um, all right. To finish up the show because TA is really no, busy. Mate. We've got to go. No, mate. We've got plenty of time. We've got a game. Right. We've got plenty. Boys, uh, we're having a bit of fun because we love fun. We love fun. footy. Um, this game, AFL Articulate. Nice. Now, we love Articulate. It's we a family do. fun game. We play with our family, play with our friends. We love it. Love it. It's fun. So it's fun. It's banterous. Yeah. It's basically, <laughs> it's if fun. you don't know the game. In his head. 
myself and Mickey B are going to be together. I'm going to be explaining oh, you the one. first one. Okay. And then Tommy and Tommy and Tones are together too. Okay, so we're going to have 20 seconds. And we've got to have fun in this 20. We're going to have fun. And you've got to get as many as you can. I'll time oh, you right. out. So I'll time you yeah. out. You can get as many as you can in the 20 seconds. Yeah, so okay. if I get the first yeah, one, it's good to go. Good. Go 30 seconds. Yeah, 30, 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah give them what they want. No. Right. <laughs> uh, Tom, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, I like nice. that. Do that again for us. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, you said you're going to bang no, the table. No, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, Go on again. At Go. some oh. point. Oh. Ready? We'll can it. Okay, Mick, you know when you have a, um, footies and they're in a no, oh. bag? Yes. So it's a... Ball bag. Footy bag. No, no, like it's a... Bag. Yeah. Yeah, but like the... <laughs> The Do you have bag. to get the actual word? word? <laughs> Fuck me. So basically when you... It's a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll talk this still. Yeah. It's... Ooh. What you said... Bag. How do you say? Yeah, a bat of... Bag of balls. Bag mm. of footies. Yeah! We got one. We got zero. one. No, zero. Because no, also, no, also no, at the one. start, you said footies. Well, you can't say footies. Yeah, yeah. You said, Trent and I were yeah, great. Okay. We, were, we, were, yeah. we were bringing the Atmos. Have you played the game before? Oh, I don't know if he's played the game. Have you? Do you remember him introducing it? Do you remember him yeah. introducing it? He goes, we yeah. love this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> family fun. Oi, oi, train. We, like, we actually do love it. Oh, mate, you're going to get this first one. Sorry, quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Two, one. Famous retired commentator. Bruce McAvaney. Yes. Easy. Um, uh, you, win, you win this if you're a young player and you're very, very good. Rising star. Nab rising star. Um, he plays for North Melbourne and um, he's a left footer and he wears number 44. Oh, oh. Left right. footer, short hair. Right footer. McMillan? No. Skip. Oh, right. Is um, all, of, all of the AFL clubs to get the AFL season away had to go up into. Um, Hubs. That, yes. You, you were there. Um, we fly with. Bang four. We'll take that. Okay. Good start. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Mick, Mick, Mick. Mick. I was, I was, I was getting. Sorry, mate. I'm, oh, and he's a right footer. Sorry. Shocking with numbers. <laughs> mate, that, that was so easy. They were saying things but weren't actually on, you know, it says Rising Star Award. That's why I was waiting. You said bag of footies. Because you played the game before. I don't you know think what I mean? played the game. So you don't have to get the exact word. Yeah, so this is our first go. Exactly. No. Yeah. He That's said, what I mean. He said bag of footies first thing, and then I was waiting for him to say bag of footies. That's why it's still so competitive. Oh, look at it. Look at how serious he's getting. Don't cut this shit up, baby. <laughs> yeah, we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing now. on the real deal. <laughs> Rightio, it's my turn now. Our, I'm team. In, our turn, sorry. We're a team. Me, me, me. We're already fractured a little bit. But let's go. Can we have three? Deep centering breath Hang before on, you hit the goal. Tissues? Don't oh. the tissues. I don't know, but did you see our round? I, I did. I'm still getting the done. Just, oh. just, just now, stop talking. Official airline of the AFL. Virgin. Tommy Sheridan, I mean. Yeah. Oh, Virgin Airways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's uh, protected area? How far is it? 15 oh, metres. Divide that by 10. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm panicking. Oh, oh, what are you yeah. doing? So I skipped that one. Yeah. Um, the week before the grand final is the? Prelim. Final. Yep. Uh, Colin, what's the play? Oh. The Antec Day. Yeah, no, I do. No, yeah, no, 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 two. Four? Is it the Antec? No, by the way, it's the question starts oh, at the oh, end. Oh, 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 no, no, the question <laughs> starts. <laughs> what did 15, I say? 15, 15 <laughs> divided by 10. Five. Well, I couldn't even work that out, man, in my head. I was like so blank. I was so blank. I couldn't even. 1.5? Five. What is 1.5, man? No, because I was thinking about I was thinking about what you're saying. I'm like, one and a half metres. What do you mean? Virgin Airways? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 around the country for 10 years. We'll yeah, accept yeah. Virgin, but like... Tommy Sheridan. I said Tommy Sheridan was better answer. Yeah, I'll accept that. that was come in, come in. So I text. What's two plus three? Five. Ah, oh, I wasn't on there. Um, <laughs> all right. I know that one. Skip. Closer to the mic. Uh, he's the skipper of the dogs. Skipper of the dogs. Marcus Bonsampelli. Boom. Uh, Jerno, same name as me. <sighs> Tom Brown. Yep. Ooh, this one's hard. <laughs> Um, okay, if it's not old, it's young. Nah, if it's not old, new. Yeah, and if it's um, Jack Nunes. If it's, uh, oh, think about it, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> new normal. What's that? Yeah. So we're six to their two. Ready, Mick. And this is the same. Yeah. Ready, Mick. 
All right. Uh, what is going to be in the this year watching the games? Crowds. Yes. Uh, the really good looking bloke from Bulldogs. Six uh, pack. Bailey six pack. Smith. Yes. Uh, your bloke that sacked you. Stuart Chu. Yes. <laughs> uh, best AFLW player of all time. Number six. Dale Melbourne. Harris. Oh, it's Daisy Pierce. Yes. Uh, the when I'm walking down the street. Wow, well, fuck. Uh, Sam Newman. The the singers. Um, they murder people. And the killers. Jack, the killers. Yes. And oh. uh, Tony Armstrong's favorite player. Dolly Flo. Yes. Oh. I missed Dolly. Jeez, that was pretty good. That was a long thirty. That was a long thirty. Yeah, that was a long thirty. So, so five. So, so you gotta get like seven, we're you're so six, composed so all the time, except this for when the you're, last round. But, no, no, but yeah, you're not then. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Oh, stop oh, opening your eyes. I know. Slow deep breath. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so currently the score is seven to the idiots over here and six to us, but we've got a round to play. Mm-hmm. And Tom is guessing. Oh, okay. I've been known to choke. I'm gonna check this. No, 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 it has no. to be the, exactly what's written on the sheet. So right now, can we play the? You're fine. So you're in front. We'll no. play this, the drop marks are really good. Play in front. Two thousand fifteen. You missed one for fifteen now. You missed one for fifteen now. <laughs> Known as a tagger, play, played played for Fremantle now. Ryan US. Oh, Matt the ball. Yes. Um, this bloke is uh, hosting the um, the opening night of this documentary that's coming out. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is the win. Dylan Buckley. No. No. Um, <laughs> skip. Skip. Um. Um. Skip. Port Adelaide song that they. That they play on the way Never out. Never walk alone. No, 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 something else. Liverpool, isn't it? No. Next one. Go back to the, no, the no, host. No. Um, to so Dylan Buckley hosting the Amazon. Yeah, Prime. No. No. Yes. <laughs> so it's the, the top. Time, you what idiot, was it? Sheridan. Well, it was on Prime making you the are mark. An idiot. Oh. I'm a high ball. You skipped once. No, I skipped once. He went back. Yeah, he went back, yeah, he went back to it. Yeah. <sighs> and it was in excess. Never tear us apart. Yes. What did I say? You oh, said um, never walk alone or something. <laughs> Fuck. I just want to. Hey, bump yeah, on seat. No, it's not the first time he's choked Mickey Barlow. Yeah, people want oh. another round, Tone. They Under the eyeball, Surreal. Yeah, he's dead. I don't want to Sheridan, give him another what, round. What oh. is it with you and choking? Oh, like you Jesus. did it at your family golf day. Oh no! At the Wacker. Is it the Wacker? When you took that girl to the door. I was playing waffle. I was playing Bruce Reed. When you took that. I looked down the camera. No, yeah, yeah. I looked down at Dylan Buckley. <laughs> no, 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 because no, because no, Dylan Buckley's hosting the opening night of this documentary. Yeah, good luck. All right, Facebook guys, we well. are we are drawn. Unbelievable. It is it is seven all. Uh, Tommy Sheridan absolutely choked on that one. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm honestly not, before. and I've, I can I can feel and how angry Tony now. Armstrong is as well. <laughs> so it's like the, the, yeah, it's not good. So Mick, it's our chance. Good luck. Good luck good to luck. everyone. Hey, can you shh? <laughs> Not allowed to talk. If you get points taken off you, if you talk, no, in, the rules. Rules. in the last round, in the last, it's for both of us. So on, you know, it's for both the of us. He whacked the table. Listen up, mate. Okay, Geelong's home ground. Their old name. Cardinia Park. Well done. Tom's sunglasses brand. Rick's eyewear. Great work. Uh, you're a sponsor of the Footy Boot. Puma. Well done. Oh. Uh, wingers have to set up, shuffle, go sweep, forward and back. Is to transition. Up Skip. A gut run. Uh, number 15 for the Suns in the olden days. Mick Barlow. Your mate. Does this with you sometimes. Daniel Gorange. Yep. Uh, Brownlow medalist, Norm Smith medalist, Richmond. Richmond. I got you. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Wow. How, did, how did I not get that? That was pretty good, though. <laughs> oh, just that was pretty good, though, Mick. He's never run both ways in his life. <laughs> yeah, it's all <laughs> transition. But also, how about we just make all the questions about oh, Dill? Oh, Dill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's Dill sponsored by? Who's sponsored by? Who's sponsored by? <laughs> Making your mark. How up, many do we get? The, you got four. Junior Park, got four. Puma, got four. I got Orange, three. and Ricks. 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 What was the last one? I reckon we got one more. I reckon we got one more. No, How many do we get, get Sammy? They didn't get that. Uh, I reckon we got five. No, you got four. Trust me. Okay. No, you can't. What are you, what are you the looking the at all three of them? No, You're looking at three nah, of them. That's Gorringe and Martin. So okay. The Sorry one. about that. Oh, oh, look at this guy. So as you can see, things are getting you, pretty tight. Yeah. We need five to win. Can Dill count me in? You count me in so there's no dramas. Thanks. Three, two, one. Best coach of all time, Hawthorne. Alistair Clarkson. Okay. Um, it's the name, not the street, but the thingo at Richmond. Punt Road. Yeah. <laughs> um, the small series of footy, 8v8. Mark. Oh. What was it called? Sorry? What was it called? 8v8. Two years ago, they scrapped it. Pre-season oh, game. AFLX. Yeah. Can't read it. Okay. Full forward for Richmond. Jack Rewalt. Nah. Tom Lynch. Yeah. And the best umpire of all time. The funny Ray one. Ray Chamberlain. <laughs> no. yeah, yes. Oh, big name. Yeah. You got it? Ray Chamberlain. Yeah. 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 I love the big 
Tolman. <laughs> we love the club. I knew it. Oh, we had Tom in the club. <laughs> Dan Andrews back. <laughs> you normally know, gives us stuff. Oh, how long did they have left? <laughs> how much time do we have out in the clock? One second. Look, Mick, congratulations, boys. Oh, man. Oh, we're, we're, oh, we're, yeah. we're, 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 I'm fighting to shake Oh, What a game. Let's it now. Oh, boys. All right. Well, on that note, congratulations to TA oh, and to oh, Tommy Sheridan. Um, I feel pretty good about even that. better now, Tone. Hey, mate, my heart rate is... Yeah, oh. Were, so I had one skip. What was that? I couldn't see the word. No, the next oh, one. Yeah, was, what was that? That was new meeting or something? New meeting. What oh. was it? I could not read it. What was it? Hugo Weeding. Hugo Weeding. Oh, that was what I wrote it? down. Oh, I couldn't read it. That would have been tough, but I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have just, got it either. I would have just gone. Uh, <laughs> I, I would have. I would have just gone Agent Smith <laughs> Matrix. I got no idea who that is. <laughs> Congratulations oh. to uh, TA and Tommy. Oh. Nick, oh, mate, we'll, I, I swear we'll be humble another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Tommy, I know you've I know you've come bearing gifts. <laughs> I know you've come bearing gifts. <laughs> yeah, mate. Uh, hey, you win and you lose the same way. You win and lose it. In my opinion, I can't do. I don't think this will ever happen again. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, if you come bearing <laughs> gifts or not, I do. I got a for the producer, Sammy boy over there. We got. What are they? Mickey. Thanks, mate. Now, there's, there's two things in there. We oh. all know there's sunnies in there. Tone. Oh, thanks, Tony. Mate. It smells like victory, this. Oh, it smells Ooh. good. We got <laughs> my two. body out. And then I couldn't fit this in. Rain we got the rain and horn tie, boys. <laughs> oh, rain and horn the tie. The best in the business. Where's the flag, Mick? Get it up. Oh, rain and look horn. at that. I am the not. boys from Sunbury, Massad and Rangers. The best real estate in the land, James this, Riskin, VJ this, Greg. This is not staying in oh, the show. Look at this. <laughs> The boys have given you the tie, so you can look sharp, oh. look good, feel good, That's and then you great, play yeah. good. Mate, you look good, to do, Tommy. Thank what you, did uh, Mate, Deion Sanders say? You look good, Thanks. you feel good. You feel good, you play good. You play good, they pay good. That's <laughs> it. <for that>. <laughs> Your <laughs> footy articulate good. Uh, boys, thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck for 2021. Mm. Big year. We'll do um, this again. We yeah. will, definitely. Can we we'll do it on do start it on time next time? What do you want to do it? Like, can we start on time? Yeah. I've got things to do. That was Tommy. Mate. Tom, are you going to be on time next time? Good. Yeah, we just need to work on the communication. Yeah. <laughs> Broke down there, didn't it? It's never my fault. Uh, anyone got any <laughs> last words to say? <laughs> nah, no, mate, let's thank do it you. again. No, that was good. good. That was a good time. Some good predictions there. Thanks, so. for everyone, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, best of luck for 2021. I hope those tips come to fruition. I have a feeling they won't. Yeah. But, uh, Who's you reckon are the most likely? Dill, Dill casts the net far and wide, so I reckon Dill's a chance to <laughs> yeah, land yeah, a couple. Yeah. I, I picked pretty much a favourite from last year. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. I won't articulate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so you won it. Oh, we oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. oh, you said it was up to me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if we lost. Boys, it's been real. It's been good. just hasn't been real good. It's been real good. <laughs>